Hello and welcome to Energy Star's Portfolio Manager Demonstration Series. Portfolio Manager is an EPA tool that tracks the energy use, water use, and greenhouse gas emissions of any type of building. Today you'll learn how to set up a property in Portfolio Manager. To get started, log into Portfolio Manager or create a new Portfolio Manager account by navigating to energystar.gov buildings. There are different options to log into the tool. You can access Portfolio Manager via the sidebar lower down on this page. Enter your username and password or click the Create Account option if you are a new user. Once you have entered your username and password, click Login to enter the tool. This will take you to your account landing page or the My Portfolio tab which shows account information at the portfolio level. This page provides a space for a chart that will track your portfolio's performance and a list of properties in the account. Once you create a new property, it will appear in the list on this page. To create a new property, click the Add a Property button to set up your property. Choose the property's primary function or main use from the drop-down list. Let's select Supermarket. Next, enter the number of buildings that make up the property. While you can benchmark just part of a building or a campus made up of multiple buildings, today we will benchmark the supermarket as a single building. More information about benchmarking a campus is available on our training website. Finally, choose the appropriate construction status for the property. Now, click Get started. Next, enter basic information for your property, including location and gross floor area. At the bottom of the page, Portfolio Manager will ask you questions specific to the property type you have selected. This allows the tool to prompt you for necessary information later on in the setup process. In this case, the tool is asking if your property's energy consumption includes parking areas. If energy use for your parking area is metered separately, EPA recommends you exclude the square footage and energy use. However, if your parking lot is not separately metered, be sure to check this box on the next page. On the next page, you'll see a summary of the property's basic information as well as the list of building properties you've entered. Here, you're prompted to add details specific to each building use which in this case are the supermarket and the parking area. If you need clarification about what should be entered for each use detail, mouse over or click the detail name to see the full definition from the glossary. Be sure to check the Portfolio Manager definition of each use detail because it may differ from the definition you use in the normal course of business. Use details without the default option are not required. However, they are included here to give you the option to track these details for comparison, normalization, or other purposes. You can add or delete building use types in this view as well. Just make sure that the total square footage for all building use types, excluding parking, matches the gross square footage entered previously for the entire property. Otherwise, you'll get an error message when you have entered your information. When you have entered your information, click Add Property to finish creating the property. You'll next be taken to your New Property Summary tab. Because you've just created the property and have not yet added energy data, many of the fields on this tab will not be filled in. However, once all data have been added, this tab will serve as a home base for your property and will include your property profile, charts that show performance trends, a notification window, a data quality checker, and a summary of shared access to the property. When you do enter energy data, a weather normalized energy use intensity value or a 1 to 100 Energy Star score will also appear in the top right hand side of the page. To view input or edit property information, use the Details tab. 
Here you will see basic property information and your portfolio manager ID on the left hand side of the page. You will also see information about your property's use, the option to add additional use types to the property, and a drop down box that allows you to make edits and updates to this information. You can expand this view to show the specific use details you entered earlier for the supermarket. This tab also includes a chart that compares the gross floor area for the property, which you entered at the very beginning, against the sum of the space assigned to each building use. The goal of this chart is to help you make sure you have accounted for all space on the property. Goals and design tabs will not be discussed here but are covered in detail in materials on our training website and discussed in the Portfolio Manager 101 training. Now that we've created this property, it will appear in the list of My Properties on the My Portfolio tab. This concludes our training on how to set up a property. If you are ready to enter energy and water meter data in the Portfolio Manager, please visit the Energy Star training website to view the next video in this Portfolio Manager demonstration series. For more information about your Portfolio Manager, please visit the websites listed here.